If you fly in the winter, you know how annoying it can be when your takeoff is delayed for de-icing. The wait is justified. Ice on plane surfaces can be extremely dangerous. But can't we find a better solution? Here's the problem. Water droplets stick to aluminium surfaces. That's how icy particles attach themselves to the aeroplane when it's cold and moist. How can this be prevented? One of the solutions to avoid ice uh, formation on the aircraft is to coat the elements with superhydrophobic coatings. And that's exactly what these Polish scientists and their international colleagues are working on in a European research project phobic to ice. One of these experimental coatings contains nanoparticles that make aluminium extraordinarily water repellent and therefore ice phobic. Nanoparticles create spikes and the air is trapped between them. That's why water cannot go inside and it's rolling on the surface. Research to make surface materials ice phobic is inspired by a natural phenomenon known as the lotus effect. Lotus leaves don't get wet thanks to their nanoscopic surface texture. So when will aircraft makers start producing ice repellent planes? This very unusual instrument at the Airbus Research Center can help to answer that question. This is an icing wind tunnel. Made of wood for thermal insulation, it shows exactly how ice develops on plane surfaces in simulated atmospheric conditions. Basically, we're creating an icing cloud inside this tunnel. The water gets sprayed into the tunnel, becomes super cooled, and lands on these structures where it freezes upon impact. As this experiment shows, cold water particles can turn into ice the moment they hit the plane. Like this bottle of supercooled water that turns solid on impact. And it's not just about ice. What about other harsh conditions? As an industry, we need to make sure that these coatings will not only be effective against icing, but also resistant to atmospheric agents like sand if we want to fly through a sandstorm, rain if we want to go through clouds, and ultraviolet rays. So far, durability leaves a lot to be desired. This instrument bombards samples with high-pressure jets of water to find out how fast their surface wears off. Having to reapply the coatings too often would not be economically viable. But with further research, ice-phobic coatings could be sufficiently improved to compete with current de-icing methods. Right now we have the uh, heat, that's mean heating element we have to use, and they are not efficient, uh, they, they use a lot of uh, fuel, and we have the harmful chemicals which we are using, so the surface engineering, it will be much uh, profitable and it will be very good solution. It will take years of research, but in the end, this technology could make chemical de-icing a thing of the past.